to down the street. Eden Lounge has invited us all over, reserved the rooftop just for us and all our fans to come over. So after the show, it's at 711 7th Ave. I hope to see you all there. Are you from this coast? I am. I'm not saying anything. Now, before we get started, we're going to have a 10 bell salute for the passing of Mr. Smith Hart. Everybody put their drinks in the air. Have one tonight for Smith. Thanks him for everything he's done for us. We'll go over one, bro. Yep. Let's get the show on the road. We're going to start with a big match. It's a great match that a lot of people have been waiting to see. So let's bring the guys out and get going. Uh, that's so sit right here. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
We couldn't get him intro music, he just gotta come. Come on, Brooks! Come on, Brooks! Oh, that's a girl! Oh, that, 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 I don't know where she is. There he is! A Terry Calvary! The Brooks Bad Boy! Come on! He's good, I'm telling you, he's really good. He's good. He's super good. I got it. But I think you got it. Alright, Ralph, get this match going.
crap. I thought Chris Cornell was dead. Look at this guy right here. Look at you, pal. Only Tom Teller can resurrect the greatest. Just like we've been saying all along, Top Talent is taking over. The proof is right here before you as the legions of the fans of Top Talent have filed in here tonight to watch us take over and bury RCW. That was a pun, did you get it? <laughs> there is not one person in RCW that holds a candle to top talent. We have put everybody under. We buried them all because we were on top and top talent reigns supreme. Tonight, once again, we're issuing an open challenge. <laughs> Heavy Metal, you got something to say, brother? You know what, Jesse? I don't even know why we issue open challenge, because there's not a goddamn guy back there that has the balls to step in the ring with us that can hang with top talent. Every single guy that stepped in this ring, we've knocked them down. We're killing this company, and in its place, we're resurrecting a new company, and that is Top Talent Pro Wrestling. We will stand before you with every goddamn championship that this company ever had. We'll beat every single guy that sits in that damn locker room pretending to play pro wrestler. And if there's anybody back there that thinks that they have the balls to stand up, they can do so anytime they want. But it seems to me that that's not the case. Jesse, you guys want to kill RCW? You want to put RCW underground? I don't know about all these people, but I love RCW. RCW is where I first started. I've been here for about a year now, and all I've seen is heavy metal and Big Jess Youngblood talking about how they are above RCW. How they are above everyone in the locker room. You're not the only one with gold, pal. So Metal, you want to take over RCW? You got the cute little shirt. Well, how about this? How about I take back the RCW Heavyweight Championship where it rightfully belongs with RCW? Cameron, RCW may be where you started, but brother, this is where you're going to be dead and buried. If you want a shot at my championship, why don't you go ahead and put that one on the line, too? How about that, huh? Title versus title, right here tonight. It's all or nothing, Cameron. You either walk out, hey, you listen to me, pal. You either walk out tonight with the gold, or you lose everything for this company. What's it gonna be? your match. You're on.
you made the biggest mistake of your life, pal. this kid two on one when he comes out here and pours his guts out to stand up for this company well I tell you what 13 years I've carried RCW proudly across my shoulders and right here right now not only is Cameron Stevens making his intention to stand against you clear I am making mine We're not waiting. I'm gonna make them bring a rep out right now. Get me a rep out here right now. You and me, right here, right now.
good time. Let's make some noise here. Come on. We got lots more action for you. Big match up next.
I'm sick of the booking. I'm sick of the nonsense. So from now on, I'm gonna do shit my way. And when I get pissed off, I'm gonna take you out. So if you ever screw up my match again, you're gonna write back here again. And I'm telling you idiots, for the last time, who is the best goddamn wrestler you've ever seen? And if you don't want to call me that, you can call me the Exacto Blade. There's a lot of bitches, they call me the Box Cutter. outside of the ring for a while. Calvary, if you're having fun here tonight, let me just remind you, after the show, Eden Lounge will all be there. The rooftop is reserved for us. Come on down, 711 7th Ave. You can hang out with all the guys you see here tonight. Let's bring out our next match. And his opponent, 
Yes! 
Of course, he's not even down here to see what we produce in this ring. Do you hear that? We're right here to see it, but I bet sure as hell you heard these people at the end of that match. But of course, that doesn't mean anything to you, does it? It doesn't matter that I come in here tonight and go 20, 25 minutes to give these people an entertaining show. For free. Oh. I'm sure if you've all been following Facebook, but I kind of said, you know, somewhat of a bombshell of my life, of myself last week. Back there, there's Aiden Adonis, formerly Ennis. Sorry, dude, can't remember your last name. There's Slammer. Why'd they leave, Styles? Yes, Steven! Money! Is it because you go into a war games in October? And you pick people like Jesse Neal? Sure they've been on impact, but they don't need shit in Alberta. Yeah. Sure Jesse Neal and I tore it up in this drink twice, for you. But I'm pretty sure they'll both for free, because you didn't pay me. You wanna know why Slammers in the back and not in this ring? Same deal! Ennis, same deal! Maybe it's a little bit low, but pretty sure Tiger Ali's out that door because of the same reason. Why don't you waste your money and bring in Virgil or pay for a flight for Marty Gennetti and he doesn't even show up? I show up! When you put that belt on me, the numbers in Calgary went up! Take notice, you stupid ass! Sure, I can run my mouth like this, but you don't have anyone to replace me. These people know it. The guys in the back know it. The guys still sitting upstairs know it. You got me to message Lance Storm to see if he has anyone that can do our shows. RCW, I said it last week, maybe Madeline just right. RCW deserves to burn, because you don't give a shit about me or anybody else.
Let me give you all the important information you need one more time. 50-50 tickets for sale back there. Merchandise table is open. After the show, Eaton Nightclub wants you down there. We are back here August 19th. Right now we're going to take a short intermission, grab yourself a drink, get some 50-50 tickets. We'll be right back. <laughs>